Hi, I'm Stephanie Moore with Unity Point Health, and I'm joined with Dr. Jill Westerkamp, and you're a radiologist here. And we wanted to answer some questions with it being Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This machine can be a little scary for some people. Um, first off, is this a, about what people would see when they came in for a mammogram? This is exactly what you can expect when you walk to the mammographic suite. Um, you can see the machine and, and the paddle and um, the bucky. Um, the woman would be standing at the machine, facing the machine, and the technologist will walk her through the whole thing. It's a very easy thing to do. A lot of women will think, ouch, is this going to hurt? What would you tell them? I would say it's not that uncomfortable. It's a little taut, but it doesn't last very long. The paddles are newer now. They have a comfort paddle that's curved on the edges. And so when it comes down, it will compress the breast so that we can see through the tissue and then release. We will repeat that about four times. And so it's very quick once we get the, get the study going. Do women have to be prepared in any way, not wear deodorant, perfume, anything like that? It's preferable not to have deodorant on, but it's not really that big a deal. Now with our new technology, and we have 3D mammography, um, so with tomosynthesis, we can actually see the skin layer. So we prefer it not, but if, if it's on there, it's not a problem. Perfume is okay. Just come as you are, and let's you know, get the mammogram, get it done, and get you out of here. Does breast size matter at all? Because I know that's another question that a lot of women have. Absolutely not. We can do large-breasted women, we can do small-breasted women, we can even do men. Um, we have smaller paddles. Um, it's the same exact procedure. How old should a woman be when she starts thinking about getting a mammogram? We strongly believe that every woman should be getting a mammogram at age 40. And by the, the word we, I mean all of the people that are involved, the surgeons, the radiologists, OBGYN, we're all involved in the care of women and breast cancer. It's very important to start getting your mammogram at age 40 and then continue annually. What is the goal of getting a mammogram? So we want to get those mammograms so that we can catch the most cancers at a smaller stage. Treatments are more effective, uh, women have better outcomes, and the only time we're going to get that is when we're screening every year starting at age 40. Is there any risk factors women should be aware of to possibly get a mammogram earlier than 40? So some of the risk factors that we think about are women who have a family history and and we think about that a lot and genetics is a very important risk factor and about 10 percent of the population have that um, everybody says i don't need to get a mammogram because it's not in my family but really 75 percent of breast cancers that we diagnose are in women who do not have a family history. So there's things that we cannot change, um, like when you start your menses before age 12, if you go through menopause after age 55, those are some risk factors, your family history, your genetics, you can't change those. But weight, you can change your weight, your exercise level, those are things that can improve your um, risk. Perfect. And we talked a little bit about minority women are at a higher risk, and why is it so important for them to especially come in and get their mammograms? So especially women under age 45 that are Afro-American, they can have more aggressive tumors. They have a more likelihood of uh, Afro-American women do of having um, a more aggressive type of cancer, like a triple negative. So we'd really like to see Afro-American women begin age screening um, at 40. But it's also important that they talk with their doctors about getting the risk assessment by age 30 because they are the ones that especially might need to start screening before age 40. So that's a very important message. You talked a lot about this risk assessment. Is that just an easy thing we can log on and, and analyze our own risk assessment? Absolutely. There's a website that women can go on and very easy to calculate. And we would say women that are more than 20% really need to get in and talk to their doctors about screening before age 40 possibly and also possibly adding uh, adjuvant screening, which would be with MRI. Another question that we get a lot is breast density. What is breast density? So we talk about breast density and in the state of Iowa um, and many other states there are um, laws that women have to be notified of their breast density and what does this really mean to them? There are four separate categories for density. One is very fatty, one is scattered, the third one is heterogeneously dense and then extremely dense. Okay, So for the heterogeneously dense and extremely dense populations they'll be getting notified they have dense breast tissue. Um, they are at very slight increased risk of getting breast cancer. However, there have been no studies to show that they've increased in mortality because of that. Does a woman's breast density change over her lifetime? 
So density is very subjective. So it's a radiologist who assign the density and that can change from year to year and from radiologist to radiologist. And actually with improving technology the density can look different to us. But weight can change your density and um, your exercise, your hormonal status and age can also change with density over time. So if a woman gets a report one year and it can be different the next year, they shouldn't be alarmed. I just really want to encourage everyone to get out there and um, get a mammogram once a year. Starting at age 40, we all have been affected by breast cancer either by ourselves, within our family. We have a girlfriend, mothers, wives, friends. Everybody knows someone with breast cancer and it's really important to get the mammogram starting at age 40 annually because then we can catch it when it's early and we have a better chance of curing it and that's how we decrease mortality and death rates.